and Miguel Pupo enter the conversation now, competing against one another here in the third round to try and crack that fourth round. It's a crucial one for Julian. We've just seen Gabriel Medina power on through to the fourth round. And it's going to be Wilson on the inside, taking off and slotting in, finding some cover, almost pushing through that clamping section in the opening stages here of Heat 8. I was just about to say this set looked amazing. Now, as it was coming through the second reef, I, I had high hopes for it. Well, here we go. This is uh, Miguel Pupo sitting a little further down the line. Wow. He opts out of there. He's flying awesome. through the barrel. <laughs> I was going to say, he's doing the super mount there. Big time. And there he is, Julian Wilson. So we had, we had touched on it, Ross. He's one of those guys in his round three effort. Julian Wilson trying to battle his way into a fourth round heat. And during the break, he had this one. Another bomb wave. Uh, again, just looking for these conditions to clean up a little bit. Well, tucking into the barrel there. Nice, clean entry. Miguel Pupo, can he find his way through this one? It doesn't look like he will. So just over 17 minutes to go and, and really not too much of an advantage for either competitor at this stage. Julian Wilson had a nice one too, Ross. He did. Nice little bear hair, and uh, I don't mind the carve either. Watch the rail work. This will just never grow old. Julian, one of the best. And so now he's getting himself. Check in with Kaipo and see what happened to Parco's first choice equipment. We'll go back to Kaipo's in just a moment. Julian Wilson on potentially a huge score. Just gets locked inside. That one's stretching out for forever. And he's trapped somewhere inside there. So Julian's got... Eight minutes, 20 seconds to go. We might try and uh, check in with Kaipo now. The next sort of uh, few weeks and uh, look how big that wave is. Uh, yeah, that's the replay. Julian's right. We're talking to him a little bit here and there. I think, uh, you know, with Julian winning that first, I'll let this wave go through. Well, it's a good looking wave for Miguel Pupo. Tucking in, locked in nicely. He's going to find his way through this one. Puts the finger up in celebration and that is just what he needed. He needed a 7.26 to get himself into the lead, but he just needed a score of some kind of substance to give himself a chance here in this heat. In order to get into the lineup. Yeah, that's what it, it's a good call, Ronnie. That's exactly what I was going to say. Julian's got a long paddle back out. He was all the way near the shoreline, and he's watching uh, Miguel just get spit out of a perfect little pipe barrel. Didn't have to do much. He drew his line and just stood there. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, you know, but Trying to hang on to a slim lead at the moment. Miguel Pupo with priority. Having a look at the left here at Pipe. Miguel scratches in. Julian pulls in. The wave closes out. And Miguel's nowhere to be seen. He didn't make his right either. 35 seconds to go. Can either of these competitors get back out there with the time remaining and get themselves into another wave? He had an opportunity here. Didn't need a lot, Ross. Wow, it was a late drop. Uh, so a minor mistake there for Miguel. Wow, and this heat is coming to a close. And Julian Wilson, the current world number two, is going to keep his title dream alive.